Good day dear coin as viewers, in this episode I'm going to talk about Jefferson Nichols issued in 2003 by Philadelphia Mint. This one is in lower mint condition with lustrous nickel grey surfaces featuring slight cartwheel effect, more vividly seen on the reverse. Metal composition is 75% copper, 25% nickel. Crisply struck device motifs are evident on Jefferson's bust, but number of contact marks including nicks and bag marks would prevent a higher grade if this had been submitted to coin grading service. Reverse side also displays reflective surfaces as well. Few large contact marks are seen on Monticello building, but steps on the porch are fully struck. It's likely a full steps variety. The uncirculated 2000 P. Jefferson nickel with full steps refers to a specific variety of the coin that exhibits a complete and distinct steps on Monticello building on the reverse side. These steps are part of design and serve as an indicator of the coin's striking quality and preservation. As for the 2003 P. Jefferson nickel with full steps specifically, it's not considered a rare or highly valuable coin. It was minted in relatively large numbers for circulation. And while it may be a bit more challenging to find in pristine uncirculated condition with full steps, it does not command a significant premium in the numismatic market. However, it's worth noting that condition and eye appeal play a crucial role in determining the value of a coin. If you have an exceptionally well-preserved 2003 P. Jefferson nickel with full steps that exhibit a strong stripe, attractive toning or other desirable characteristics, it may be of greater interest to certain collectors and they might be willing to pay a slight premium for it. However, they can make a good premium in mean state 68 with full steps. For instance, this very elusive example in given grade was bargained for $1057.50 in 2013 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay well.